Welcome back, guys. Uh, as most of you know, lately I've been very interested in Arch Linux, and I have been exploring various uh, distributions, uh, flavors of Arch Linux. Uh, and I've tried to uh, take a look at whatever I could find. Now, <clears throat> you might remember that I did a architect Linux installer review where I went through and I installed uh, plain arch through the architect Linux installer and over the last few days I've gotten some feedback from some of the uh, viewers who mentioned a youtuber by the name of midfinger and <clears throat> in particular I had a few of my viewers recommend that I take a look at um, Linux GT. Now, Linux GT is a basically a, a, a hybrid distribution uh, that was put together by Midfinger, and um, and it, it's it's extremely interesting. It's the uh, combination it's got some it's got some XFCE in it it's got some LXDE in it and basically what Midfinger did is he took all of the things that he likes about various distributions and he combined them into a distribution now I'm going to bring up the um, uh, his video in fairness to him <clears throat> I'm going to bring up his video where he explains how to install. Now, this is called Linux GT Arch Linux based install. He originally did it with the Evolution installer. Uh, I went through the process using Architect. Now, I do recommend that you take a look at this, it, <clears throat> it's fantastic. Um, what you do basically is if you follow his video from start to finish he takes you through the arch install using evolution it's the same thing if you use architect so you can follow along using architect and then when you get the arch install completed he shows you how to bring in the information all of the files that's needed for Linux GT uh, and he has uh, a uh, kind of a repo a repository on uh, github so he has put a lot of work into this and it really shows now I have it installed on two computers at, at the present time this is my main computer and I also have it installed on a secondary computer um, <clears throat> and so I've been going through it and there are <clears throat> there are a couple of I won't say issues but questions that I have um, but let's take a look at it and you there are so many features you'd have to take a look at, at it yourself but basically he's got an automated wallpaper changer which changes I believe once per minute changes the wallpaper uh, he's got a and this particular weather um, plug-in is a little finicky it kind of loses itself uh, there it goes it's working now so <clears throat> um, sometimes it loses its uh, feed and location but right now it's it's showing my location 60 degrees uh, it's got a uh, volume uh, clock and let's see okay that's the screensaver kicking in actually that that logged me out okay and we're back uh, then the logout button as you can see it's the LXDE version 
So on the other side of the screen now, and you can see my processor is going a little bit crazy, but as you can see it's changing wallpaper every minute or so. Uh, I did add the uh, LXDE menu uh, to the left side of the panel, uh, only because I'm not a big fan of Slings Cold. Uh, but it is here. This is pretty lightweight. It doesn't have a whole lot of things installed. I'll go through those with you, but there are not a lot of things installed. Um, I have added a few things, but I'm still tweaking it. Accessories. Uh, everything is uh, stock except I added Redshift and Redshift did not configure automatically like it usually does so basically I had to add it to the startup and basically if you go to the LXDE uh, menu for configurations the control center and you go into LX session settings if you look into auto start you, know, you can see where I plugged in the coordinates for Redshift. And the rest of this was uh, actually set up by Midfinger. He did all of the work um, setting up the distribution the way he likes it. And of course, you'll, I'm um, sure, find ways to tweak it to your liking. Um, these are all the uh, control center items power manager, the usual screensaver. Uh, network connections. Now I will say that I had no trouble uh, adding my NVIDIA graphics driver. Uh, I had no trouble configuring Broadcom for my Wi-Fi card of a Broadcom. So those drivers installed without any issues. Uh, as you can see it's running here and it uh, it, it appears to be running fine. Now I have had a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's related to Compiz. Compiz is um, pre-configured for you. So let's go through the accessories. As I mentioned, I only added Redshift. Chrome apps are all already there because Chrome comes pre-installed. Graphics, there's an image viewer. You can add whatever you want. As you can see, he's kept it pretty light. Internet came with Google. I added Firefox. Programming, I did not change. Sound and video, uh, LX Music was there. It, for some reason, would not activate, so I deleted it. I added Banshee. I added GUVC View, Kazam, Kodi, and OpenShot, and Simple Screen Recorder, and VLC. So I added all those. And the only one left over from the original is the uh, Pulse Audio and the QTV4L2 test utility. System tools, I added P-Sensor. Uh, and I added Thunar File Manager. Preferences, uh, they're all listed here. Uh, these are the LXDE. Now you can see my NVIDIA. I'm running the 355 driver. It is the latest driver. And let's see. And that's about it. You've got uh, a logout. And now, as I said, this is a uh, custom distribution prepared by a gentleman by the name of Midfinger who has a YouTube channel and lots of interesting things there. Uh, I had a couple of issues. One is uh, with the file manager there is no menu listing and I have to try to figure out exactly how I can get that menu bar on the uh, file manager window also don't have the menu bar on the browser uh, and so there's normally a setting but I haven't been able to find it also everything is set up for single click and I prefer a double click 
and so I haven't figured out how to do that yet either um, so I'll st I'm still uh, working on that if you have any ideas if you know how to reconfigure for the uh, double click and the me the menu bar with the menu items uh, just appreciate it if you give me some feedback throw a comment into the uh, comment section on this video now as I mentioned sling scold which the, with the arch icon is configured out of the box and so if you're a big fan of that then you're all set I um, prefer just a, a conventional menu and the beauty of the this distribution is that you can obviously reconfigure it any way you want but he's done a terrific job right up front putting in most of the things that you'll need and let's see Uh, I think that's about it. Right now it's running fine. Uh, I had a little bit of lag, uh, but that may be due to uh, Compiz. Now, there was one other issue. If I, if I right-click, let's see, there are desktop preferences. And you can show your documents, trash can connected volumes let's see and that's not happening and so I'll have to figure out why that is okay and this okay let's try that Let's see if anything's changed on Thuna. Nope. So uh, I am looking for information on how to add this menu back to the uh, file manager and all of the windows, and also uh, information on how to switch from dub uh, from a single click, as you can see here. It's all single click, and I would like to double click. So, the name of the distribution is Linux GT. You can find it uh, by going to Midfinger's web, uh, website, his YouTube channel, and you can see all of the when I when I when I made my video uh, on Arch, the architect. You can see from my video all of the feedback that I got from various individuals about Linux GT and uh, I immediately took a look at it and this is the end result so as I said what you need to do is grab the architect Linux installer or if you're comfortable installing Arch from scratch then go ahead and do that but follow along with Midfinger's video and he will take you through uh, how to import all of the information from his GitHub uh, repo. And once you do that and you reboot, you will be looking at uh, a wonderful Arch distribution. So that's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you soon. Take care.